Hey guys, uh, new tool Tuesday. So this just came from Obsessed Garage. Um, today's not Tuesday, but the day that the video is released will be. And I realized that Harbor Freight uses new tool Tuesday in their email campaign, so I don't know that that works really well. But anyway, this just came from Obsessed Garage and it is something new that they um, released and talked about on their website. So I'll just unbox it here with no knife. Like always, Uline boxes, good packaging, good tape. Obsessed Garage really does package your stuff well. And this is a solo sprayer. So this is the solo sprayer that Obsessed Garage sells. It is the Solo 460 Li, and it is the AccuSpritz. German quality sprayers and cutoff machines from Solo. So. They've been testing these at Obsessed Garage for a little while, um, using them for things like drying aid, wheel cleaner, stuff like that. Um, I picked one up to try it out and see what I might like it for. And the same thing I did with the Marillac sprayer. Um, I originally bought that to try it out and I use it for wheel cleaner all the time. I think it works really, really well. So I picked this up. I'm thinking I might use it for drying aid, but I'm not 100% sure. So let's open the box and see what's inside. So here we have the actual solo sprayer itself is what it looks like and inside the box is also a USB cord and a one page instruction manual. It says it has a warranty but it doesn't say what the length of the warranty is. Um, I'm more concerned with charging. Charging the battery. Charge the device before the first use. To do this, connect the USB plug of the charging cable to a USB power source and the plug of the charging cable to the connection socket of the battery powered sprayer. The charging time is one and a half to two hours. Overcharging is not possible. Cool. So, here's the sprayer itself. That's what it looks like. It's got an adjustable nozzle right on the tip here. So this can be open and closed. It comes in the fully closed position. You hear that? All right, so it has this button on top and that obviously makes it spray. On the side there is some, uh, there's one mark here for one liter. Um, there's also a mark for 0.25 of a gallon, uh, which would be a quart. So you can, um, you do have a line for filling up to one liter, but you do not have any other markings on here. So it's not gonna be a good bottle for you to do like any sort of mixing in. You would have to mix in something else with some graduation on it. Unless you had one of those pro mix things, which I do have, um, then you could use it for like uh, drying aid or something on or not drying aid. You could use it for something like waterless car wash. Um, fill it up with a liter of water. It's one to 128 and you can put it in here. I like that this has a weighted ball at the end of it. Um, it's a lot like the MJJC foam can. It looks actually like the same ball with the same kind of screen in the bottom of it. It's a super flexible hose, which is kind of cool. So I think that that's going to make it so that it works in a lot of different positions. Um, yeah, so the ball can get down to about here when it's upside down. So as long as you had, you know, maybe this much fluid in there, it should work upside down without an issue. I would imagine over time that hose will get a little bit more pliable and probably get even lower in that can. Here's the charging cable. There is no brick, so there is no thing to plug into the wall. So this is relying on you having a laptop or a uh, computer or something like that that you can plug this into. Um, I probably have, I don't know, 300 of those bricks. Like every single iPhone I've ever bought came with one, except for the most recent one. Um, laptops, other types of things, they all come with that. So you just plug this into a USB port, it's going to charge. Um, so let's do that. I'll plug it in really quick. <clears throat> all right, so the, uh, the button is stainless steel. The connection point on the back appears to be stainless steel as well for the charger. It's right there, this little socket in the back. And the screws in the side appear to be stainless steel as well. So it seems like this is gonna hold up really well. Um, there is no LED to indicate that it's charging or that it's done charging or that it's overcharged. So I guess you would just plug it in every once in a while for, um, for one and a half-ish hours. And that's what it's gonna take. So we'll get this filled up, try it out a little bit. And we'll see how it works. Are you gonna be whiny on camera? Yeah. <laughs> 
So the solo sprayer is kind of insane. Um, I mean, I'm like a car behind my garage door and it's like, there's <laughs> just an insane amount of output. Um, the misting action is really, really good. So when we, um, you know, kind of tighten up the nozzle all the way, um, we can see that, uh, you know, it's got like a really good dispersion pattern. Um, but it does have a ton of output. So for certain things, I, I think that it's almost too much output. I mean, you can just kind of give a really light dusting um, of, you know, something like a drying aid or a waterless car wash. Um, but I mean, it is, it is really cool. So I charged up once. I emptied the bottle like three times spraying my kids. It's amazing how fast it can go through a liter of liquid. Um, it really just puts out a tremendous amount of volume. So if you know you want something where like you can open the door to your kid's room and just spray them with a water bottle um, unprovoked, this is a really good option for that. Uh, but my my wife picked it up and she started using it to um, because I had water in it. She's using it to spray her plants. So she's got a bunch of plants that she needs to mist the leaves and whatever and she loves it absolutely loves it and it turns out that that's actually what it's made for it's made for gardening it's made for um, you know that type of use so I ordered two more from Obsessed Garage um, I don't know when they'll be here because they are on back order but one for her one for me and uh, they you know they work really well I'm impressed with it so thank you for watching and have a great day